computer. Recording. Okay. All right. Awesome. Well, let's get started with the warm up. Um, if you were here last time, it's going to be similarly designed with kind of derby aspects in mind. Everything's really in two minute increments. So like a two minute jam. Um, so like the longest you'll have to work is two minutes. So let's get started. So first, just get some space. We'll start with like just a nice easy jog in, in place. You can start swinging your arms, just getting blood flow and getting warmed up. Oh, nice and easy, start lifting those knees up. It's getting loose. All right, come into just a nice easy squat, however low you want to go, however fast you want to go. Couple more here. All right, you're gonna take a step back and do a lunge and then twist towards your front leg, step back in. Other leg back, twist towards your front leg. Nice and slow and controlled. Couple more here. Then we're gonna go into our sprint and squat. All right, so try to kind of jog in place, get those knees up, pretend like you're sprinting. This is like imagining we're doing it around the track. <laughs> so sprint. And squat, you're gonna hold a little pulse at the bottom there. I have not been on skates in a very long time. I used to do that. And sprint. And squat. Now that the snow is finally melting and we can get out there. For sure. The weather has been so amazing. So like. Yeah. Trails becoming clear. It's going to be good. Oh. All right. Last one. Sprint. And squat. All right, last move, we're just gonna come and do some mountain climbers. So you can do them fast, you can do them slow. Just kind of warming up the upper body and the core. All right, good. You can stand up, shake out whatever you need, maybe some torso twists, arm circles, just get loose. Neck rolls. Maybe some Captain Morgans. All right, everyone feeling warmish? You can keep stretching or whatever while I explain. Um, so our first four minutes, so two jams are gonna be basically just get as many points as you can. So you're gonna count up and do, so there's gonna be two moves and you're gonna do one of each and then two of each and then three of each and try to get as many points as you can. So really just focusing on climbing as high as possible, like you're the jammer getting some points. So our first two moves is gonna be a squat with the knee lift and across your body. So that's one. So it's one, one counting each leg. So. On your second one, you're gonna do four. And I hope that makes sense. That was not a good explanation. Um, second move is gonna be mountain climbers the same. So one, two. So each leg counts as a half of one. This, hope that makes sense. <laughs> it does. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I realized that was like the, the weirdest possible way I could have said that. Okay, so we have two minutes. Get as high as you can with those two moves. We'll start in 10. Three, two, one. So squat with a leg lift, come into mountain climbers. 
and then two on each leg. Just climb as high as you can. It's gonna get harder as you do more, just like a jam would. Gotta push it, get those last points. All right, you're 30 seconds in. Make sure those mountain climbers, your butt's nice and low. Engage in your core. You're a minute in. Halfway done. Keep climbing. I'm on six. You got 30 seconds left. Get those last points. All right, keep pushing till the very end. You got 10 seconds. Three, two, one. All right, recover. We will get about 30 seconds, um, short hot tub time. <laughs> Next two moves is gonna be the same, uh, same format, but they're gonna be lunges of any kind. So you can do jumping, you can do stepping, whatever you like. So it's gonna be, um, sorry, my cat is trying to get something up there. Um, one and one, just like we did for the last one. And then either you get your choice of either a push up. You can do it on your knees, elbows, or knees, toes, whatever, or a sit up. So it's gonna look like, so one lunge, one push up, or one sit up. Two lunges, two push ups, or two sit ups. You can mix and match the push ups and sit ups. Your choice. So we'll start in 10. Sound good? Sweet. Three, two, one. So start with those lunges. Again, you don't have to jump if you have space in your room. You can also do walking lunges, whatever you like. You hit your max for push ups, you can flip over and finish it out as sit ups. You're a minute in. Keep going, you got 30 seconds. Fifteen. Last 10 seconds, go until the very end. Three, two, and one. Awesome. Grab some water, sweat towel if you need it. 
Um, while you guys are recovering, I will explain the next one. So this one is very similar to the ones we did the last time, um, but new moves. So four moves for 30 seconds each. So two minutes total of work, and then we'll repeat it. Um, so first move, you're gonna do three like ladder fast feet. So in and out, out, in and out, out, in and out, out, three. And then either two squat squats or two squat jumps. You can jump it if you want. So this is kind of, I like to think of it as like, you're tiptoeing on your toe stops through a, through a pack and then you're like exploding out of it. So get that power after, after you get out to the front, you like explode out. Um, second move is gonna be skaters. So you really push on that outside leg. Sorry, I realize I'm getting out of the picture here. Land on one. I want these to be kind of slow and controlled. So you can come in standing on that one leg, kind of bend down and tap the floor. So jump to the other side, control it and tap, but still like push through the side of that leg. It goes behind you and you gently tap the floor. Still keeping your chest up, holding that balance. Really gonna work those glutes. Um, third move is going to be plank jacks. So in a plank, you can either hop your feet out together at the same time or do one at a time, walk them out like this. So that's our third move. It's not really derby related, just gotta get that core and upper body. And then last one is going to be kind of a sideways uh, squat, hold and walk. So just stay nice and low, you know, head on a swivel, looking around, just like you're on skates ready to get hit. Sound good? So we got four moves, 30 seconds each. This is great. Great, all right, let's start in five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Just remember one, two, three, fast feet, and then two squat jumps or two regular squats. One, two, three. Let's keep those feet moving. Excellent. Again, you don't have to jump if you don't want to. We got 10 seconds here. Next, we're coming into the skaters with the tap. In four, three, two, one. So skater, nice and controlled, push from one leg to the other. You can kind of, you can speed it up if you want, whatever, whatever feels right, but I want it to be still controlled. Working those glutes. All right, you got 15 more here. Next, we're doing the plank jacks. In three, two, one. So come down into your plank. Either walk your feet out or jump them out. Make sure you squeeze your butt so it's not bouncing up and down. We don't want any mountains like that. Ideally, just your legs move in and out, your core stays completely still. Three, two, one, coming up into the squats and moving sideways. Head on a swivel, nice good derby position. Core is nice and tight, like you're ready to get hit from behind. We got five more seconds here. Four, three, two, one. All right, recover. You get 30 seconds here, we'll repeat that. And then we're gonna do some kickboxing for funsies.
sorry if my, I'm like very conscious of my heavy breathing today. I am, I am sorry you guys have to listen to that. No, you're doing great. I don't hear anything <laughs> like, and breathing is good. I am, I am breathing. <laughs> Excellent. All right, let's get started in five seconds. Back to those fast feet with the squats and go. bursting out of that pack. You got about five seconds here, get one more in. Coming into skaters, three, two, one. Yeah, 10 seconds here. Next, we're coming into plank jacks again in three, two, one. Down on the ground. We got 10 more seconds here, almost there. Coming into our last one. Five, four, three, two, one. Last 30 seconds of our jam. Stay nice and low. Try to get that butt even a little bit lower in these last 10 seconds here. Feel it burn. In five, four, three, two, one. Nice, good work. All right, we are done with those. Also, I realized that we were doing a lot of like, you're on the floor, then you're standing up, then you're on the floor. And I kind of do that on purpose because at least in my derby game, I spend a lot of time falling on the floor. You got to up really quick. <laughs> so right, yeah, I'm remembering my own moments of just got to get back up. <laughs> yep. <laughs> this is great. This is a great workout. All right. Next thing is not derby related. It's just kickboxing because I like pretending I can fight people. <laughs> um, so um I'll kind of go over. We're gonna do basically two minutes of each thing. Um, and then 30 seconds of some kind of core workout just to kind of incorporate core and then you'll get 30 seconds off. So our first combo, um, you're gonna start. So most people, if you're right handed, usually your left foot is forward because that's like the stronger, you have that stronger side behind your right arm to punch. So I'm gonna start with that stance. So your first one you're gonna do, I'll show you and then I'll explain it. So jab, cross, hook, undercut, and then we're gonna dodge. Now you can cut this off at any point. You can just do three punches, you can do two punches, whatever you want. But so a jab is gonna be your left hand or your non-dominant hand, it's kind of a short one. Cross is the powerful punch that you get your whole hip behind and it's your, your dominant hand. Hook is gonna be your front arm again and you're gonna kind of twist like you're hitting someone in like the side of the head. And then uppercut is like you're hitting someone under the chin or like in the sternum. And that comes from your back arm again, so up like that. And then we're gonna dodge. So pretending like you're gonna dodge someone else punching you, dodge back, set up again. So jab, cross, hook, undercut, uppercut, dodge, dodge. All the time you wanna protect your face, keep your hands up and stay light on your toes. So we'll do a about a minute of that just to kind of get into it. Um, any questions on that? Does that kind of make sense? <laughs> I'm good. One second. I think I am just going to put that in the chat real quick. So it's jab, punch, um, hook, hook, and then uppercut. Uh, uppercut yeah. And then dodge. dodge. Right? Dodge? Yeah. 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 Sorry. Okay. And if you just want to do like, you can just stick with like a jab, cross, hook, jab, cross, hook, if you want, just like whatever, whatever step you want. I just wanted to make it 
a little Four more punches. Deep. Four punches and then a dodge. <laughs> yep. Perfect. <Okay. laughs> All right. We'll start in 15. And we'll repeat this so you can kind of get some time to figure it out. So in five, four, three, two, one. So one, two, three, four, dodge, dodge. You can do it as fast or slow as you want. Remember when you punch, you kind of exhale, like you're ready for impact. So it's like, dodge, dodge. All right, bring your hands back to protect your face. You can do it, slow it down if you want to really get power behind those punches, or you can do them quickly. You got 15 seconds here. Dodge. Dodge. All right, in three, two, one, we're just gonna come and hold a plank. 30 seconds here, then you'll get your break after this. Halfway through. In five, four, three, two, one. All right, 30 second recovery. We're gonna do that again, just to kind of get the feel for it. If you want, you can switch sides. So I'm going to start with my right leg forward so that it reverses everything, but you can keep doing the same leg if you'd like. Whatever. If you just figured it out on that leg, you can stick with that. That is totally fine. We'll start in 10, nine, seven, three, two, one. Same combo. Dodge, dodge. One, two, three, four. Dodge, dodge. Find a way to sneak in more squats in there with that dodge. Stay nice and loose in your hips so that you can use them to get more power behind your punches. You got 10 seconds here. For this, we're gonna come into flutter kicks for 30. Three. Two, one, on your backs and flutters. You can have your hands under your butt if you need it. Also, I realize you can't really see me, just my legs. <laughs> Make sure your lower back's nice and tight on the ground. Ten more seconds here. Three, two, and one. All right, recover. We're gonna switch to a new combo. Do the same thing, so do it twice. This one is gonna start the same. I don't know what the best angle to do this at. So jab, cross, and instead we're gonna kind of make it Muay Thai, which is you use your elbows and your knees. So after that cross, you're gonna, like you're hitting someone in the face with your elbow. So your hip comes up too. I honestly don't know which is the best way to show you guys. So hip, and then your hands are gonna go up and you're gonna, like you're slamming their head down onto your knee twice. So your hips kind of move forward into your knee. So I'll show that again, I'll kind of speed it up. So jab, cross, elbow, back knee, back knee, back into position. Jab, cross, elbow, back knee, back knee. Set up again. Make sense? That one's a little bit more natural, at least to me, than the last one. <laughs> Yep, I got it written and I'm going to jab, punch, elbow, back knee twice. Perfect. Thank you for doing that. Yep, no problem. All right. We will start in five seconds. 
three, two, one. Jab, cross, elbow, knee, knee. So pretend you're bringing someone's face into your knee. However gruesome that sounds. <laughs> so you really bring down with some force, use that core to kind of contract everything. Bring your knee up. And on that elbow, you really want to swing it up, get your hips into it so you can get as much force going upward as you can. Yeah, 10 more seconds here. And at your own pace, however fast or slow you want it. Three, two, and one. We're gonna come into crunches. Just have one more set after that. <laughs> Whatever kind of crunches you want. Feet up, feet down. We got 15 seconds here. Three, two, one. All right, recover. Grab some water if you need it. We're gonna repeat that one more time. Um, this time, if you would like, instead of that second knee, you can throw it is kind of like you're pushing someone away with the ball of your foot so you'll do jab cross elbow knee push with that foot so you're kind of leaning back getting your hips forward and like you're putting your ball of your foot right in their chest or stomach and like pushing them away so if you want to add that on you can you don't have to you can stick with the two knees but just a extra little bonus if you want it so we will start in 10 seconds and five, four, three, two, and one. Jab, cross, elbow, knee, kick. Ready to kind of exhale on your punches. Ready for the impact. Kind of get into a rhythm. Halfway there. Keep it going, we got 15 seconds here. Almost there. In three, two, one. Last set of core bicycles. So up to the floor. Opposite elbow to me. Five more seconds here. In three. Two and one. Nice. Good job, everyone. 28 minutes. I'm always oh, so surprised. <laughs> the timing Thank works you. out. <laughs> I was going to show this. Oh, right. No, that was wonderful. Oh, I got to breathe. Yes. <laughs> so um, I don't, um, you know what? I'm going to unpin you so we all can wave bye. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, one second. I got to remove pin. So now I'm going to do view. Valerie. So everyone wave and bye. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and now